Hi there, Grade Eights, and welcome to the next lesson in Worksheet Cloud Maths. Okay, today we are going to carry on with our focus on fractions. It is our second lesson, and today we are going to look at multiplication and division. And I'm sure in the beginning a lot of it will be revision, as a, as we started before. Okay, so let's have a look at operations involving fractions. And as I said, last time we did addition and subtraction. This time we're going on to multiplication and division. Okay, so the first thing is when you multiply two fractions together, all we do is simply multiply the denominators and multiply the numerators. So here you can see we've got a half times a third. We take the denominators, multiply them together. So 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1, and that will give us 1 sixth. Okay, you have been doing that probably since grade 6, so I'm sure that that's nothing new to you. All right, here we have um, another one where we are going to multiply them together, and we're going to get 16 over 24 because 6 times 4 is 24, and 2 times 8 is 16. Please don't forget, we need to simplify. So 16 over 24 will give us 2 over 3, because 8 will go into both of those numbers. 8 goes into 16 twice, goes into 24 three times. Okay. Remember when we did um, addition and subtraction, it was the same thing. When you got your answer, you had to look to see if you could simplify that answer. Right. Let's have a look now when we are multiplying mixed numbers. Remember when we did addition and subtraction, you could work with the mixed numbers first, and then you could um, do find a common denominator, add and subtract. Okay, This time around, you have to change it into an improper fraction. So before you had the choice, you could either work with it, work with the whole numbers first, or change it into improper fractions. Here, you can't work with the whole numbers first, so you've got to change them both into an improper fraction. So have a look. We have got 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 2 gives me 7 over 5. 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 1 as the numerator gives me 4 over 3. Okay, now you have got two improper fractions, so you've only got numerators and denominators. You can multiply them out. Okay, so 5 times 3 is 15. 7 times 4 is 28. You need to simplify. Don't forget to simplify. This is an improper fraction. Um, we need to make it, um, we need to take out the whole numbers. So make it a mixed number. Okay? That would end up giving you 1 and 13 over 15. Because if you fif took 15 out of the 28 that you've got, you would have one whole and you'd have 13 left. So it would be 13 over 15. Right? Everybody get it? So when you've got um, mixed numbers, please change them to improper fractions first, then multiply them out, and then simplify. And probably, if you started with a mixed number, you're probably going to finish with a mixed number. Okay, let's have a look. You try this one, so pause the video, um, try it on your own, and then we'll go over it together. Just remember, they're mixed numbers. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, so we're going to change them both into improper fractions. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 gives me 9, so it's 9 over 4. On the other side, it's 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 2 is 7, so now we've got 7 over 5. We've got two improper fractions. All we do is we multiply out the numerators, multiply out the denominators. 9 times 7 is 63, 4 times 5 is 20. Can you see? We've got an improper fraction again. So what are we going to do? We are going to simplify it and make it back into a mixed number. So 20 goes into 63 three times. What's left over? 3. So you've got 3 and 3 over 20. Okay, you cannot simplify the 3 over 20 any further. So that will be your final answer. That's one thing I just want to bring to your attention as well. Because sometimes when you change it back into a mixed number, the fraction that is left can still be simplified. So if that was 3 and 4 over 20, we would be able to simplify that further to um, 1 over 5. Okay, So just make sure that you look on an ongoing basis to see if you can simplify that answer even further. And if you can, you must do that. Okay, Right. Let's look out for this, because what we can do is that we can simplify the fraction before we started. So here there's two ways to do it. So the first way, we're going to look at the 4 over 6. We can simplify that 
2 being 2 over 3, okay? Simplify first. So 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 6 three times. So we've got 2 over 3. We can now simplify across the fractions, okay? So we can say 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 4 twice. So we end up with a third times a half, or a half times a third, rather. Okay, you can't simplify that anymore. So now you can just multiply out, and you should get 1 over 6. But now if you have a look, we can simplify the 4 and the 4 here. 4 goes into itself once, it goes into that 4 once. So you're going to get 1 over 1 times 1 over 6, and you will get straight to your 1 over 6. So just make sure that you know that you can simplify across fractions, and you can simplify the fraction itself first. It probably will help you right at the end to get to your simplest form right up front, but please just check. Check your answer, make sure it's in its simplest form. All right, okay. Let's have a look now at division. So uh, multiplication was quite easy. Um, remember, mixed numbers change into improper fractions. Try and simplify as much as you can. Multiply out numerators, multiply denominators. Check that you can simplify again. If you can't, that is your final answer. Okay, division, a little bit more tricky, but have a look. We need to change this to what we can work with. Because as we know, division is one fraction or one something over another thing. So, in fact, this is already 2 divided by 8. That is 1 divided by 4. Okay, but let's see what we can do. Right, if we want to get rid of that division sign, what you've been taught in the past, I'm sure, is to tip in times. But why do we tip in times? That is what we need to understand. Okay, so what we do to the one fraction, we've got to do to the other fraction. So I'm going to try and get rid of this fraction here by timesing it by its inverse. So times it by 8 over 2, that's going to end up giving you 1. Remember our cancelling? 8 goes into itself once, 8 goes into itself once there, 2 into itself once, 2 into itself once there. So actually that whole fraction becomes 1. But because we times by 8 over 2 in this fraction, we have to times by 8 over 2 in this fraction. And here, as you can see there, 2 times 2 is 16, eight, sorry, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 over 16 is 1. And so when we are dividing by 1, we know that the answer will stay the same. So, But because we did that times 8 over 2 there, we had to do it here. And so what we will do is we just get rid of that 1 because we know the answer stays the same. And we go 1 times 8 is 8, and 4 times 2 is also 8. So it's 8 over 8, and in this case, it will give us 1 whole. But let's just have a look a little bit closer at the tip and times part of it. Okay, so we've got a quarter divided by two eighths, same example as we used just now. That is the same as saying a quarter over two eighths, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, eliminate the denominator in this case. How are we going to do it? Times it by its inverse. But because we've done that to the denominator, we've got to do the same to the numerator. You know your rules with fractions. So there we go, we've done it to the numerator as well, okay? So that will then become 1 over 4 times 8 over 2 all over 1. We saw how that cancelled out just now, and it becomes 1. All right, so therefore it's 1 over 4 times 8 over 2. And we can multiply out and we can get the same answer. Now guys, if you didn't quite get that the first time I explained, Rewind your video and watch it all over again. You need to understand why you tip in times because when we get further on, um, higher up in your high school years, then you will need to understand why you're doing certain things with fractions involving algebra. Okay, let's try another one. We've got 2 over 6 divided by 1, sorry, 2 over 10 divided by 1 over 6. Um, we are going to put the one fraction over the other fraction. We are going to then multiply by its inverse, which means we have to multiply our numerator by its inverse. Okay? And we are going to get 2 over 10 times 6 over 1. So actually what we've done is we've tipped and timesed. Okay? We end up with 12 over 10. We end up with 6 over 5 because we've simplified first. 
and that gives us one and one fifth. Okay, everybody happy? Let's just look at it again. There's our two tenths over our one sixth. Okay, because remember that's what the divide means. We inverse inverted um, this one sixth two times by six over one, which will give us one as a denominator. We did the same to the numerator because that's a rule in fractions. Do what you do to the de denominator, you must do to the numerator. We end up with our denominator being one. We end up with two over ten times six over one. Multiply them out because we know we can do that with multiplication. We get twelve over ten. Then we get we simplify that with to get to six over five. That is an improper fraction. Make it into a mixed number, and we get one and one fifth. Okay, everyone happy? Right, try this one on your own. Here we go. Pause the video. You work it out. Then when you come back, we'll go over everything together. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, we've got 2 over 3. We tip in times. Times 5 over 1. You now know why you tip in times. Okay, times 5 over 1. Multiply everything out. You're going to get 10 over 3. Okay, improper fraction. That's going to leave us with 3 and a third after we've simplified. All right, let's go over it again. We tip in times, so we tip the fraction and we then changed our sign to multiply. We now can multiply out 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 1 is 3, and then we simplify that into, an, uh, into a mixed number. We're going to get 3 and 1 over 3. Okay, cannot simplify that anymore. It is now your final answer. Okay, everyone happy? Remember, if you got that one wrong, go back a little bit to how to tip in times, and then you will see where you went wrong. It might have just been a calculation error, so don't be too hard on yourselves. Okay, let's see. One step further. Now we're going to look at how do we do this with a mixed number. Well, the same thing, okay? We're going to change our mixed number into improper fractions. So 12 times 1 is 12, plus 6 gives me 18 over 12. 15 times 1 is 15, plus the 12 is 27 over 15. Okay, what we need to do is first tip in times. So please don't start cross cancelling um, before you've tipped in times. Okay, so now we've got 18 over 12 times 15 over 27. We can do some um, cancelling out here and we can end up with 6 over 4 times 5 over 9. Why? Because I cancelled out. I can say 3 goes into 12 4 times, 3 goes into 15 five times, that's where we get that from, and we can say 3 into 18 goes 6, 3 into 27 goes 9. Okay, we can't really cancel, well, I suppose we can, we can cancel out the 6 and the 9, um, and we get 3 into, or 2, yeah, 3, uh, sorry, 2 into 6 goes 3, and 2 into 4 goes 2, um, and we can cancel again because 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 9 three times. There we go. So we've actually been left with our simplest fractions there. And we can multiply out and we will end up with 5 over 6. Sorry, I just got a little bit lost in the middle there. Let's just go over it again so that we're all on the same page. So what I did, first thing, we change our, our mixed numbers into improper fractions. There we have them. Then we tip in times and then we cancel, okay? We cancelled a little bit here, cancelled more here, cancelled even more, um, and we end up with our final answer, 5 over 6. We cannot simplify it anymore, so that is our final answer. Right, let's put everything into practice now, and then we will go over these. Um, so pause the video, write them down, and then let's see how you did. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, the first one is 3 over 5 times 10 over 12. What did we do? Because um, it's multiply, we don't need to tip in times. But what we did do is we cancelled out. 5 goes into itself once, 5 goes into 10 twice. There's the 1, there's the 2. Okay, then we can cancel out 3 and 12. So 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 12 four times. So now we've got 1 over 1 times 2 over 4. We end up with 2 over 4. Have a look. Don't leave it like that. You can cancel further. You can simplify it. And that will give you a half as your final answer. Okay. Everybody get that? Great stuff. Remember, if you didn't, don't be hard on yourself. It could be a little calculation error. Um, if it is a structure error, 
So it's a process, then go back to the start of the video and see where you went wrong. Go back to the explanation in the beginning. Right, let's have a look at number two. Here we are dividing, first of all, but we've also got a mixed number. So what are we going to do with the mixed number? Right, we're going to make it into an improper fraction. So there we've done it, 5 over 4 divided by 1 over 6, which is 5 over 4 times 6 over 1. Best thing to do would be to cancel the 4 and the 6. 2 goes into both of them. So we're going to have 5 over 2 times 3 over 1. Now you can multiply out. It's going to give you 15 over 2. And that would leave you with 7 and a half. Because that is an improper fraction, make it back into a mixed number. All right. Let's have a look at number 3. There we go. Here we've got divide again. And we have got two mixed numbers, so we've got to work with both of them and make them both into improper fractions. So we're going to get 5 over 2 divided by 29 over 5. Tip in times, so it's 5 over 2 times 5 over 29. Okay, we're always very tempted to cancel these out straight up front, but we can't because of the divide sign. So we've got to tip in times. Okay, nothing that stands out there can be simplified. So we end up with 25 over 58. 5 times 5, 25. 2 times 29 is 58. And that is our final answer because nothing goes into both of those. Right, so that is in its simplest form. Okay, everybody happy? Right, let's move on to number 4. We've got 4 and 5 over 6, mixed number, times by 2 over 3. Change our mixed number into an improper fraction. So you're going to get 29 over 6, because 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 5 gives you 29 over 6, and then times by 2 over 3. There is a simplification that can happen here. Let's have a look. We said 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes into 6 three times. There's the 1, and there's the 3. Okay, everybody happy? Multiply out, we're going to get 29 over 9. It's an improper fraction, so to simplify, we have to make it back into a mixed number, and we're going to get, end up with 3 and 2 over 9. Okay, can't be simplified any further. That is what it is. We can leave it like that. Final answer. Okay, well done, guys. That's it for today. Um, great work. Um, have, a, have fun doing your activity. I'm sure you won't find it too hard. There are 10 calculations to do, um, but they're not too hard. And remember, if there's anything you're worried about, to please send an email to grade 8 at worksheetclub.com and somebody will get back to you and answer your query. Okay, if you do get stuck while doing your activity, please just remember, go back to this video and watch from the beginning again and pause where you need to pause so that you can understand exactly what to do. Okay, thank you for watching this next um, session of our fra focus on fractions, and I'll see you again next time. Have a great day further. Bye-bye for now.